Commission of Wiggins. We now call the meeting of the Eskimo County Democratic Party Executive Committee meeting to order for the meeting of December the 17th. At this time, we'd like to ask everyone to please stand. Someone leave us in the chair. We can ask Brother Craig to do a little bit of prayer.
we ask you, you are on here or you do that? We are. Okay, you are down here. Miss Jacqueline, well, I will. please raise your hand and Miss Jacqueline is going to come forth and get y'all copies of the committee.
got to have certain materials there. So we, as a committee, we want to make sure that everybody understood everything that we were doing. We want to make sure that y'all had all of the information to include the list of the committee. So it costs money to get all of this done. But when we came to this meeting, we feel beyond a shadow of doubt that we can answer any questions that comes before us. But again, it costs some money. So for you all that want to make a donation, make it your check out to the Eskom County Democratic Party and give it to Ms. Uh, Stephanie Hunter, who's our president. Great man, Stephanie. And also, if you don't have anything you want to give tonight, on this list, she has her address up there. Please feel free to mail a contribution to her to help support our party. No amount is too small and no amount is too great. Okay, so we got the four officers, so now we can move on to the next page. We have at the precinct level, with all 21 precincts organized, we have a total of 160 votes at the precinct level. And the way these votes are determined, whenever there is a governor race, you get one vote for, for every 100 vote cast in that precinct. So when you look at precinct 11, which is Edgecombe County Administrative Building, they have 15 votes. So that means at least 1,500 individuals from that precinct voted for the Democratic governor in 2016. And these numbers, once they are established, whether the governor wins or loses, just as long as you vote for that Democratic governor, these numbers remain the same for a period of four years. Anytime you have a committee meeting, anytime you have a convention, these are the established numbers. So with that stated, and precinct 1-1, we have Glenda Lawrence Knight, and, if, and if I wait to be present, please let me know so uh, the secretary can report as being present for this meeting, because at the end, we have to go back and make sure that we have uh, a quorum to determine who's here. So out of these uh, six officers, we're going to say four of the officers are present for this meeting, and Bronx and I will come up in another category. Okay, uh, precinct one one. Then a long night. If you hear, please say yes. I mean, are you listening? Let anybody have a proxy for her? Let it be known. So far, I don't see a proxy for her. Okay, so count her as absent. Yes. Can I um, be recognized? Yes, uh, Ms. Jordan, may you recognize? Yes, I am the precinct chair. I was voted in as precinct chair for a woman. That name is not correct, nor is vice president correct on your list. Just for the record, okay? Okay, but for the record, Mrs. Uh, Jordan, I told y'all last week Excuse what me. I had. Yeah. What was that? I listened to you. Yeah. I told y'all last week what I had. I told y'all if there was any changes for you all to get together, not credit to this committee, but you all to get together and determine who was who. So as far as this meeting tonight, we have Lena Knight and we have Quincy Robinson. So y'all have time to get together and have a Thank you. I just want to recognize that that's incorrect. Okay, thank you, thank you. We, let's move on. Let's move on. Quincy uh, Robinson. Is it here? So we don't have anyone from Precinct 1-1. One -one. Uh, precinct 1-2, Tarvin Church of God. We have Reverend Gerald Green Sr. He's present. And we have Ms. Judith Moss. And someone please check out the name because we have to go back and, and make sure that we have a report. Were you about to say something about it? I was wondering what her name is, but she told me. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Her name, you said check out J.O. Williams. Yes, ma'am. Okay. No, he's present. As well as Judith Moss. Precinct. Okay. Yes, she's here. She's here right beside me. Okay, precinct one at three, uh, Mr. Jim Marrow and Ms. Connie Hub. Here. They are present. Precinct one at four. Reverend Roy Gray. Here. And Ms. Linda Goins. 
Here. They are present. Precinct 2 1, Benita, Jason Padaway, Catherine Padaway. They are absent. Precinct 3 1, which is me, Ethel Reverend Collier, and Wilbur Harrison. Lawrence, uh, Mary Blackwell Hinton, and myself, she's here, and I'm here, so I can go to the capacity of my uh, advice of that precinct. <laughs> precinct 5 1, Tommy D. Anderson, and Ola Pittman. Here. Is Tommy, is Tommy here? Okay, this, this Ola is here from that precinct. Precinct 6 1, Doris Ann Howerton, and Winston Wade. No one here. Uh, precinct 7 1, Samuel Branch and Dorothy Tucker. Are they here? Precinct 8 1, Carlin J. Well and Jesse Eason. Are they here? Precinct 9 1, uh, Eva Collins Hopkins and Mandy B. Carl. Are they here? Pine Talks, we have George Barnes and Miss Annie Manning. And Miss Annie Manning sent a proxy of Mr. Charlie Carr. Is he here? Yeah, he's here. He's here. Lewis Fire Department, we have Amelia's Dancer the second, who is here. And Lewis E. Higgs, my brother. Also here. Yeah, I am. I am here. I am here. I can't speak. I, I am here. <laughs> okay. Twelve one is Donald Johnson and Ernest Taylor. They are here. Precinct twelve two is Bronson Williams and Austin Halton. Bronson is here. Precinct 12-3 is Janice Bullock and Reverend Paul Davis. Yeah. Hey, Reverend Paul is here. What about Miss Janice? Okay, yes, Reverend Paul. Precinct 12-4, Lawrence Taylor. Here. Clara Knight. She's absent. Precinct 12-5, Otis Jordan. And Ruby Jenkins. Here. Precinct 13-1, Mr. Jenkins C. Williams. Here. And Mr. T.C. Terry, he sends a proxy of Ms. Robin Craswell. Here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Precinct 14-1 is Shocker, Ms. Marvel Scott, who's also a school board member. She's here, and Ms. Martha P. Harris is the vice chair. She's here. Okay, the county auxiliaries, the three of those, the African American caucus, who Ms. Deborah Jordan serves as the president of the caucus, and she's also a city council for the town of Tarver. But for the sake of this meeting, Ms. Jordan, you can only vote in one capacity. Could you share with us which capacity you choose to vote in? The voting strength is the same. I mean, it's one vote either way. Either way, one vote. Okay. okay. So either way, it's one vote. So we let her vote in the capacity of the African American caucus. The Democratic men's is Reverend Thomas Walker. Reverend Walker, he's not here. The Democratic women's, Ms. Sarah Pepler. Here. She's here. Okay. County commissioners, we have 47 county commissioners. Yes, 47 all together, but I'm, I'm going to call them. They may not be here now, but there's 47 all together. If you look at your list, on the other ones, <laughs> I put a number beside it, but when I got down to the county elected officials, I didn't know that number at the time when we had this document printed because there were some races that was still being decided. Which one did I skip? I'm just one man. Shit. Just one man. 
That's it. Now, they say I said it was 47 County Commission. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That is. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Okay. It should have been 47 County elected officials. Okay. That, that's what we're so we count with Representative Shelby Whittingham is in present. And all this again is named section 2.00 that tells you the composition of the county executive committee. Okay, the sheriff uh, Atkinson, he is here. Here. The clerk of court is Carolyn Allen White. She's absent. County Commissioner Evelyn Powell. County Commissioner Viola Harris. Uh, County Commissioner Viola Harris sends a proxy of uh, Martha Johnson, but Martha, you are the uh, first vice of the party, so you can vote for the proxy, but you could not vote in your capacity as the first vice of the party. You can only vote in one capacity. So which one do you choose? Okay, she chooses to vote in her capacity. No, she can vote as the first vice chair. You already counted her. Okay, Leonard Wiggins, Mr. William Wooten, Commissioner Rap Webb, he's here. Commissioner Donald Boswell, Commissioner Wayne Hines, he's here. Soil and Water Conservation. Ms. Renee Anderson Long, is she here? Alton Skinner, Edgecombe County Board of Education, Ms. Evelyn Wilson, Ms. Lily Worsley, absent, Ms. Evelyn Johnson, Mr. William Ellis, Ms. Ann Kent, Reverend Raymond Privet, and Ms. Marva Scott, the National Edgecombe Board of Education, Ms. Ann Edge. Now we get into our township elected officials. Uh, Kanita, Ms. Linda Ingram, Commissioner Milton Goff, Jr., Commissioner Jesse Padaway. He yeah, he's also the uh, elected official, so he's not here. I guess he's not here, so. Mr. Johnny uh, Reppis, Town of Leggett, Ms. Natasha Davis, Town of Michaelfield, Mr. Charles H. Lewis, is he here? Town of Pine Top, the first female mayor, Ms. Brenda Harrell. See here? Ms. Florence Pender, Dennis Subs, Commissioner Barbara Taylor, Town of Princeville, newly elect Mr. William Earl Johnson, here. Ms. Linda Joyner, Mr. Jerome Maverick, Mr. Alvin Jones, City Council Rocker Map, Mr. Andre Knight, Mr. Ruben Blackwell, and the Reverend Richard Joyner. Here. He's here. The Town of Speed, Mr. Wilbur Harrison, who's also the Vice Chair of Speed. He's not here. Mr. Leroy Candace, Joe W. Dickens III. Kenneth Randolph, Ms. Roberta Mercer, Town of Tarver, Mayor Joe Pitt, Councilman Oka Woodlock, here, Mr. Stephen Burnett, Mr. C.B. Brown, here, Ms. Jordan has let me know she'll be voting as the African American Caucus, Ms. Sabrina Bynum, and Whitaker, Commissioner Janice Bellamy, Commissioner Samuel Lee Hopkins, and also on this 
Liz, Doris Howerton, she was, uh, was declared the winner in that race, so her name needs to be added in that category as an elected official. She's not here, and she also served as the chair of her precinct, which is 6-1 Whitaker. So when you look at all of the elected officials, committee members, so forth and so on, if everybody was here, it would be a total of 96 committee members with a total of 214 votes. And that was if everyone was here. But we know that everyone is not here, so I'm going to pause for a moment for someone that was keeping up with the roll call. I want someone to tell me how many committee members we have in attendance, as well as how many votes that we have based on the number that was to, to decide each of those committee members' names. And Mr. District Chair, Senator Don Davis, who I observed do this procedure over the course of years for at least six times. Mr. Chairman, am I doing it pretty well so far? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Do we need to go back over the numbers? Or do y'all just need a moment to? Mr. Chair, two things. First of all, I would like, oh, Camilla Nancy. First of all, I would like to say that I requested the um, voting members for the meeting tonight, and I never received it. I want that to go on as the record. Because you made a statement that if it was incorrect, we could have made the changes then. The second thing is, I want to know what my secretary come up with, because my secretary is the one that does the party. It's time for the secretary to be given the opportunity to do her duty. So I would like to hear what the secretary have, but more so I would rather for us to go through the names because you was answering for people. And the correct way to me would be that we answer for ourselves and they put down so I can make sure that when I said who I am, they got my correct vote. Um, now you can do it like you want to, but that's for the record. I, I appreciate you uh, sharing those observations, Mr. Dancy. Uh, that can be fact in the record. But again, as it relates to the list, I let it be known that I was generating the list 
and that I would give the list, list to list when it was completed. I did that. I did not let anyone else manipulate me in doing it. I did it in concert with the results from the Board of Election. And once the Board of Election did their certification, I generated the list to those that asked me for it. For y'all that want to get on social media and have y'all conversation, y'all welcome to stay on social media. I asked for the list. You didn't ask me for the list. I asked the secretary. The secretary okay. is the one that had it. She didn't have it. Right, right. Okay. But she should have had it. But she told you she didn't have it, so you can Move on, move on. But number one, move on. we answered your question. I'm not... Thank y'all. Okay, let's move forward. Okay, uh, thank y'all so much. Uh, Mr. Davis, you were working on Madam Secretary or anyone. Do you have, do you have anything to... I have 41. Yeah. But I don't have the number of votes at this time. Okay, now let me ask you this. <laughs> Okay. Call it four to one, and we would ask that you all also serve at the tabulation committee. When y'all call it four to one, just look to the right of their names, and that will let you all know how many votes that we have here tonight. That's good. That's So basically what we're trying to do now is come up with the number that we'll be using tonight <laughs> to carry out the election. So we need to add those numbers together, those four to one to the right of them, and see what that number is. You say we have four to one committee and we have that, you understand that part? But we need to know the numbers to the right of the name. That what will determine the voting strength of this meeting. And take the time for the referee to get it right and you feel like you got the best. And while they are doing that, I would like to yield to our senator. Would you, would you like to have any remarks at this time, sir? Democrats, how are you? Uh -huh. <laughs> All right now. There's nothing wrong with a little spirit. I want to thank each and every one of you who have allowed me over several years to serve in multiple capacities in this Democratic Party. I first represented the House, uh, first represented Hayes County and the North Carolina House of Representatives. Then, as your senior, as your resident judge. Superior Court, then as your senior resident judge, and now I represent you in the state senate. This is a hard time for me in Edgecombe County because my mentor on the bench is now the senior. I give honor to Frank Brown as a corpse. I give honor to Frank Brown and his service to this judicial district and to the state of North Carolina. I am excited about what will happen. 2020. In 2020, I look forward to the North Carolina Senate returning to Democratic majority. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. In 2020, I look forward to the North Carolina House of Representatives going in that blue collar, right. Democrat. All right. Yeah. Yeah. To me, it is at its local level that dictates to the federal government what ought to be going on. So let's get out, let's roll up our sleeves. Let's fight amongst one another. But by God, when we get through fighting amongst another, let's just realize that we're all Democrats. We're in the same boat together. If I offended you yesterday in something that I said, remember that I did it well from my head and not from my heart. 
There is nothing wrong with being dis with a disagreement between individuals. God bless each and every one of you. God rest the Democratic Party and God bless the United States of America. Thank you. I would simply say, ditto. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the only other thing I would convey, um, really wish everybody, you and your families, to have a wonderful, wonderful holiday to come. Uh, season with Christmas and New Year. Thank you so much. And now we're going to have a great day. Yes, we're going
Please come and stand and give her a hand, y'all.
here in Ashcombe County. Precinct 1 4 has done its due diligence throughout the years in supporting our party. I rise tonight as the chairman of that particular precinct to nominate one of our own from Precinct 1 4, Mrs. Anderson. Mrs. Anderson is presently already in the office. She has served under the outgoing Register of Deeds, a standard that's been set for that office, and uh, we don't see it under the leadership of Ms. Anderson being any less than what we have already received, if not better. And so on behalf of all the citizens, not only uh, of Precinct 1 4 Target, we like to put in nomination our very own Ms. Allison Anderson. Thank you, Governor Ray. <laughs> At this time, I would also like to enter the nomination of Mrs. Anderson to me that I did receive the letter. And I'd like to stay together a little bit further. The North Carolina Democratic Party, as well as the National Democratic Party, in this preamble, it states that the Democratic Party is a party of inclusion. In Ashcombe County, everything that can, be, that can be divided, the school board, the county commissioner, has been divided to bring forth racial diversity. We have three salary positions in Ashcombe County, the sheriff, the registered deed, and the clerk of court. Of those three offices, two of them are held by African Americans. And I would ask, not that I even beg, this party, as we continue this process, to not do as we felt that we was done years ago, but let's use this as an opportunity to show that we can be respectful of other people and show some racial diversity in these three offices. In the spirit of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., just not a person by the color of their skin, but by the context of their character. And I challenge us, as we move towards the celebration of this holiday, that we take this opportunity to make this statement real. Thank you. Are there any other nominees? Are there any? Are there any other nominations? Nominees? Any other nominations? Nominee? We move that the nominee be closed. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, we got a motion. We got a motion. We got a motion. We got a motion, but, but, but the rule is, as a presider, I have not recognized that person. So I learned this from Chairman Davis, too. You keep the floor open so it won't look like that you're in the Baptist church where they're trying to rarely be left. Okay? I learned that from him, so. We gave everybody sufficient time to submit it. Now we will entertain the motion. Who made the motion? I made the motion. Now I'm asking you. Okay. Sir, the motion, motion. Jordan. Made the motion. Mr. Oka. Would have accepted the motion. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 It has been moved and properly seconded that the nomination be closed. Uh, all in favor, let be known by the vote sign yes. 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 All opposed, no. Yes, have it. Uh, can we get a motion that she be received by affirmation? That's what should have been done from the start. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Jim Mara, move that. Second. That's what should have been done. Who's second? Okay, okay, Mr. Jim Mara, move that she be accepted by affirmation from the board of race that the motion. Okay, then move the proper second. She needs this. Anderson be accepted by affirmation. All in favor, let me know by vote sign yes. 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 All opposed? Mrs. Anderson? Please come forward and give us a remark. Let's give our hand, y'all.
and not expect to ride on the wagon at the top. Okay? Is there anything else to claim our attention? No, sir. Okay, that's been a motion to adjourn. We thank Dr. Oh, they, 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 people over there got their hands up. Well, thank you for this. Well, I'm just helping you. I appreciate it. Thanks. Okay, okay. Good evening, fellow young friends. Just wanted to remind you that the year coming up, we don't have many more days, but the year coming up, 2020, is very, 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 very important to each and every one of us in Edgecombe County, in North Carolina, and in the United States of America. As uh, Chairman Higgs stated, it is past time to sit down. We're going to have to work. We're going to have to work together. And bottom line is, we're going to have to work together. And the next bottom line is, we are really going to have to work. North Carolina did not show good at the last election, but we have to change that. And we can only change that as a party, as a group, as a team. And I beg of you at this time to please go ahead, put it in your heart, pray on it, think on it. Let's come up with some suggestions or some, some things. We've got to come up with a plan that we can change this thing around that we can do this. And I know we can do The only thing is, we got to work and we got to work together. I also want to remind you that in 2020, voters will be asked to show photo ID beginning in 2020. I do have information here, so if you need a copy of this in regards to what is an acceptable voter ID, please just stick with me and I'll be more than happy to, to give you a copy of this information. Once again, I'll be contacting you in 2020. Come 2020, I'm going to be contacting you so that we can get this thing started. We're going to be on the road so that we can change everything to Democrat and to blue. Thank you. Sarah Peebler, president of Democratic Women. I would like to invite every woman who is sitting in this room tonight to become a member of Democratic Women of Edgecombe County. We have a Facebook page. We keep announcing our meetings. We keep announcing what's happening. And we have a meeting coming up in January. I'd like for you to please consider joining Democratic Women. $20. We'll do it. And, uh, Work with us. We've got a lot of work to do. Thank you. I have two other members of the right for Dallas. In 2016, I did it was Hurricane Matthew in Edgecombe County. Did damage all over the county, and particularly in Franklin. There's a gentleman that heads up the North Carolina Emergency Management, Mr. Mike Sprayberg. This morning, 7 o'clock, I was on the phone with him. I've been trying to reach Ms. Laura Hallhead, who comes in and out of Edgecombe County. She seems like she tiptoed in on cotton, tiptoed out on cotton. But anyway, I let him know that he needed to go back and tell the governor. Matter of fact, the governor sent me an invitation to a Christmas event. And I'm going to send it back to the governor. <laughs> governor, let's be great. There's no way my heart will allow me to come and celebrate Christmas with you. With the performance that you have done for Edgecombe County and Princeton. It's a shame. Three years. And the money is there. But nothing is being done. We can't be keep being quiet, Sister Brother. You know what he told me this morning? At 7 o'clock? He told me that Edgecombe County is lagging behind because of Edgecombe County. He said, in the area that the state has taken on the program, things are happening. So they called me this afternoon. They want to come into Edgecombe County on January the 16th 
and meet with the citizens. Because again, when I leave here tonight, I'm going to a grass spot, I'm going to lay my head. But I know there's a lot of folks in Cranfield that have been away from their homestead for three years. And it makes no sense that those needs are not being met when the money is there. Another thing, Eskimo County school system, what, is 99 or 98 out of one county? Which one is it, 98 or 99? 98. Okay, it's been that way for a while, Sister Rose. We got to come up with some means, or at least tie the same in some of these other races. If we can go out there and become number ones on the athletic field, we can do the same thing academically. But sometimes we don't do it because we don't know. Everybody else knows we're 98 to 99. We have got to do better here in Ashcombe County. We've got to cut the soap operas off and face what is real around us. Amen. Is that the that's the plan our attention? The meeting is officially adjourned. And we have refreshment in the student lounge. We want y'all to go down there and enjoy yourself with it. No one can catch y'all with it.